You guys ready? You guys ready for all my hot takes on these ships to see if I like their designs? Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. I'm just here to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and maybe consider leaving a comment on what you liked or disliked about the video. And I hope you enjoyed the content. I'll see you later. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. This time, I am going to be looking at the new Priority 7 ships, crossover, World of Warships stuff. You know, you know the drill. Um, I don't usually, I don't think I've done this for any of the previous PRs in terms of like, when they first came out talking about them. Um, but, uh, I, I decided to do it this time. That's, that, that's really it. Um, I have, I have some hot takes and some opinions that you'll probably disagree with. Most likely dislike the video and make a comment down below about how I'm stupid. And there'll probably be that one commenter I had. If any of these ships have an ability that self heals or slows, there's going to be a commenter who's like, oh, that makes the ship bad because those are bad mechanics. Just, I'm just going to throw that out there right now. Cause I've had way too many people saying shit like that. And it still trips me out that people genuinely think that that's crazy to me. Absolutely crazy to me. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get into this. Let's look at this. Uh, we got Halford. She is a USS Destroyer. Let's see. Nocturnal Judgment. When the battle starts, if this ship has Eagle Union gear equipped, increase this ship's aviation by 20%. This is a Destroyer, right? It says DD right there, right? I'm pretty sure I read that. I read that correct. She has a seaplane slot. Ah, wow. <sighs> okay, cool. Uh, every 15 seconds targets a random enemy. Humanated enemies are prioritized and decreases that enemy's evasion by 10% for six seconds and launches a level 10 seaplane attack. If this seaplane hits the random enemy targeted by this skill, increase that enemy's cannon damage taken by 8%. She's a Fletcher class DD with a catapult. And of her C plant. Okay. When the battle starts. So she has 20% increased her aviation. She targets a random enemy that reduces their evasion. Launches a level 10 C strike. Hot take. This skill's ass. <laughs> it's probably good, but it kind of sounds ass to me. Like, I don't. C plant. And a C plane airstrike? Okay. Whatever. 8% increased cannon damage? Okay. That's that's fine. Like a boss killer, I guess. She's probably more oriented toward bosses, right? Support for my girl, Care Sarge? True. True. Lowering the enemy's evasion is not, not necessarily bad. It's the evasion stat, not the evasion rate, though. So it could be a little bit better. Could be a little bit. That's right. There is a new C plane. That's true. That's true. There is a new C plane. There is some new gear. So that, that might factor into this a little bit. But off, off the cuff, hot take. Mm, it's probably fine. I'm. Just, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's a PR ship. She'll probably be fine. It's very rare that a PR ship is actually just complete garbage, right? It's very, very rare that a PR ship is just uh, just absolute garbage, right? Like it's just. It's very rare that a that a PR ship is. Actually, garbage. There's nobody garbage on that series. <laughs> there's nobody garbage in this series. <laughs> there's nobody garbage in this series, and uh, there's nobody garbage in this series. Probably, we'll see. At first glance, sounds mid. I agree. I'm not a big fan of a destroyer with a seaplane. It's kind of like whatever to me, right? All right. Second skill: pedigree of perfection. Um. Increase this ship's evasion by thirty percent. Okay. If the ship does not have a seaplane equipped, increase this ship's torpedo and anti-air by 15%. Decrease her damage taken by 12%. And every 15 seconds fires a level 10 special barrage. Okay, if the ship has a seaplane equipped, when the ship launches an odd number of airstrikes... Oh, God. So the first and the third one. Deploys a smoke screen lasts for 5 seconds that increases evasion rate by 40% for all your ships in it. Uh, when this ship launches an even number of airstrikes, restore four percent of the ship's max HP and extinguishes any burn sh burn this ship is afflicted with. This skill is good. This is good. However, however, if this is the skill people are talking about, where Anchorage is now obsolete, no, I, I would I would one hundred percent disagree. 
If anything, you could probably pair them up pretty well together. Um, because this is literally just Anchorage's skill for the most part. Napoli power creep anchor. Napoli is a carrier. We'll get to there in a minute. We'll get to Napoli in a minute. I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyways, this is a pretty good skill. Um, oh, knock him off as a carrier. That's right. That's right. That's right. Napoli is this one. Yeah, no, right. All right, all right. Uh, whatever. Anyways, moving on. Uh, I think the skill is pretty good. And the fate sim for Halford in two years will just be every effect at once, probably. Most likely. Most likely. Uh say click increase your ship's torpedo and A and by fifteen percent, decrease your damage taken. Yeah. I think I like I like honestly, I prefer the the not seaplane, even though the evasion rate smoke screen would be pretty good. But that's a lot of stat. That's a lot of stat. Okay. And then she has an all out of uh, she has siren. Let's do the simulation real quick. Let's see what she looks like. All right. I like her little chibi model here. It's pretty good. Is that the new seaplane? Oh, the new. Is that the new seaplane? Pretty sure that's the new seaplane. Were those rockets? Pretty sure those are rockets. Those are different kinds of rockets too. Or at least they changed the model. They're rockets. Okay, so she's going to be against medium armor. So she's a destroyer that will be good against medium and heavy armor. Because she has torpedoes for heavy armor. So she's a big armor specialist. She's a fucking destroyer. Yeah, those are incredibly accurate. Tiny Tim Rockets? Okay. Yeah, those are incredibly accurate. Hey, you know what? Um, I like it. Uh, I do agree that her design... Now, let's look at her design. I like her shoes. Okay, I can't zoom out. Okay. Wally don't care. Me. Um. It feels very like futuristic Royal Navy, right? It feels like the it's like the futuristic design of the uh camera's being weird again. Today. It's like the futuristic design of a Eagle Union ship, but with like Royal Navy like vibe. That's that's what I would say. Alan M. Sumner, yeah, yeah. She's got the same futuristic vibe. Also, are these bats? Okay, so the inspiration for this character is Shalter Blood Fallen, like a hundred percent. I just I just didn't throw that out. There. It's just like a hundred percent. She even has like a blood wine thing in here and other bats. So she's basically vampire. She's she's inspired by vampire as well, which is another HMS ship, right? I didn't even catch that. She has like a little blood like wine thing. Here, right here. Yeah, she's the first American vampire. There you go. Awesome. Um, actually, honestly, uh, looking at her skills, looking at her design, uh, I like this ship. I think it's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of Eagle Union always, so I think I think I think that's uh, she's gonna be useful. So. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, any D that's not over an over sexual is a good idea in my book. True, I agree. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think her, I, if I'm, her design is not, yeah, it's not overly sexualized or anything along those lines. Totally fine. Um, let's see here. Dyson, Dawson, Dyson, Mike Tyson. I'm gonna call her Mike. Um, Mike Dyson. That's what I'm gonna call her. Mike Dyson. IJN ship. Let's go ahead and look at her skills first. Uh, causality anchor or casualty, you know, causality when the battle starts, increase this. She is a battleship, right? Yeah, battleship. Cool. Uh, when the battle starts, increase the ship's firepower and torpedo. Oh, god, by 20%. When this ship fires, her main guns fires a level 10 special barrage, and alternately activates one of these two effects. Uh, 
Um, inflicts a special burn ailment to enemies hit by the special barrage, leaving 15 seconds. When firing the special barrage, also fires level 10 torpedo barrage. If this ship has a Sakura Empire anti-air gun equipped, the above effects activate in the opposite order. Why? Why? When this ship falls below 30% of the result of battle chain, when it activates both effects, one and two will activate simultaneously until the battle ends. What? Fun thing about the Halford, uh, that Halford, which is one of the biggest issues people have with her, she actually existed. Okay, whatever. People get over themselves. Yeah, BBs with torps immediately make me go. But this, this is this skill stupid. I'm I'm sorry. Why? 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 If if equipped this way, it'll activate opposite. But also, if she gets this HP, it'll activate all of them at the same time. Always. Like I don't. Whatever. I hate that. I hate that skill on principle for how for how ridiculously for you how Yu-Gi-Oh card text this skill is for basically no fucking reason. Right? Literally, literally no fucking. There's like no reason, no reason. Absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid. Moving on, next one. Blessings and purity. Uh, when the ship's main guns finish loading, launches a recon plane and targets the enemy furthest from the ship, increasing the ship's damage dealt to that enemy by 20% for 10 seconds. Okay. If the recon plane launched by this skill is shot down, restore 8% of your Vanguard's max HP once per battle when two recon planes launched by this skill have been shot down. It also restores 5% max HP for, this sh for the ship and your Vanguard with lowest current HP percentage. Huh. So basically, she has a 8% heal every time she launches her gun, more or less. And an additional heal after it's been shot down twice. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it keeps the Vanguard healthy. Another another battle, like a little battleship healing. A little battleship healing. Okay. I'm okay with this skill. I like this skill. Increased by damage by 20% is pretty nice for every time she shots. Um... Yeah, or every time she finishes loading, not even shoots. Yeah, it is more PvP-ish, I agree. Yeah, it's not a gear slot. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be kinda like how Shinano has the recon plane that increases damage and stuff, but this one heals. Okay. Uh ass first skill, just because of the text length. Absolutely ridiculous. And uh, an okay, uh, pretty good uh mid skill. And then obviously Siren Killer. Let's go ahead and check out her simulation. Well, we can't see her chibi because we can't go back there. Annoyingly so. So we'll just, you know. Okay. Pleasant's of purity. There goes the torpedoes. Huh. They're very tight together. That's good. It, they shot the four torpedoes and they're very tight together. That's pretty good. That's the seaplane. Yeah, those are really fast torps. Really fast. Okay. There goes the seaplane again. There goes the barrage. So wait, her barrage is HE and she has an AP gun on? That's actually, so she does, she handles both, by the way. I just want to point that out. With an AP gun, she can handle both. She can have both, uh... She's probably going to be a good mob ship, right? I feel like she's going to be a good mob ship. Especially with the healing. There's some security. There goes the seaplanes. There goes the torpedoes. Okay. No. Okay, so the torpedoes also, like, went directly for humanoid target, by the way. That's another thing, right? Not bad. Yeah, actually seems kind of good. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I like I like the barrage and the gun spread. So, again, I hate this skill on principle because of the length of it for no fucking reason. Uh, but overall, her barrage actually seems pretty good. With the soccer egg on the torso and barrage would hit at the same time. Okay. 
Big damage, yep. No, that's that was a pretty good spread, and I liked the torpedo angles as well. It was pretty good. All right, not not bad. Actual combat, not bad. Now let's look at her design. I said this earlier in the stream when I first started. Her design is mid as fuck. She just looks like every other IGN battleship. Um, she just looks like every other IGN ship. Her design is kind of mid. It's just mid. Apparently, she's a horse girl, which is that's cool, um, but not a fan of the design. Not, a, not, a, just not a fan. Not, not for me. She's a horse. She got the little horse ears. A donkey, whatever. All right. Yeah, they could have some banger skins. Sure. All right, Napoli, Napoli, Napoli. All right, first skill, Requiem Eternum, 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 Requiem Eternum, whatever. During the battle, this ship uses a special level two secondary gun. That weird. Fires once every second. Barrage pattern is based on the skill's level. Increase this ship's firepower and evasion by 10%. While there is an enemy within 10 units, 40 units, 10 units, why is that? Look, it's 10% right there. 40 units of the ship, this ship's main guns, secondary guns, and special secondary gun all ignore enemy shields. She has a ghost gun, and she ignores shields as a CA. Okay. This is pretty good. A five power, firepower and evasion bonus. That's pretty good. Second skill. Uh, Callum Embralius. Embralius, something like that. When the battle starts in every 20 seconds, deploys a smoke screen that increases evasion rate by 40% for all your ships in it. After the above effect activates for five seconds, creates an exhaust smoke screen. Last in one second, every that increases Napoleon's evasion rate. Uh, last one second, every crazy every point five seconds that increases evasion rate and a carry gun efficiency by one hundred percent. This does not affect her special secondary gun. While this ship is inside the smoke screen, other smoke screen skills do not affect Napoleon during the active duration. So she gets more damage from her secondary gun while she's in the smoke screen. Her smoke screen is a 40% evasion rate, and then she gets a second 40% evasion rate. I don't think this is better than Anchorage. She gets two smoke screens, but she has to stay in them, and on auto battle, that's not going to happen very often. At least with Anchorage, uh, she gets a shield with hers, so even if she leaves the smoke screen afterwards, she will still like be better. I still think hers is better. Also, Anchorage's in manual, like in manual play and in the torpedoes. Yeah, but it's only after the above. Effect activates. Choice. After the above effect, for five seconds, creates an exhaust smoke screen for every 0.5. So that's like, this only going to be five seconds. It's only after this part activates, which is only every 20 seconds. I still think Anchorage is better because she can fire her torpedoes faster than that. And then for five seconds after, she has a 10 second smoke. No, it's a five second smoke. Five second smoke, and then after that, another five second smoke. Right? Basically, basically, she has a five second. She has five seconds of smoke screen, and then after that, she has another five seconds of smoke screen. It's after the above. Yeah, no, it's after the above effect activates. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's after. So it's if they activate at the same. Yeah, they activate at the same time. So basically, she'll be. Yeah, they're at the same time, so she'll be in the smoke screen the entire 10 seconds, most likely, because she's going to keep pu putting it out. I still think Anchorage is better. I still think Anchorage is better. I feel like that, like this 10-second smoke screen, yeah, she's going to stay in it more consistently, probably. Ah, that's true. This only if the second smoke screen also only affects her. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. That's a good point, Clon. I didn't see that. I didn't think about that. That's true. The second smoke screen only affects Yeah, she's not better than Anchorage. This is not this is not this is not power creep. I don't think personally reading this as is does not power creep Anchorage. I think Anchorage is still better.
Yeah. And it does not stack because other smoke screen skills do not affect Napoli during the active duration. Right? So she can only she doesn't get 80% evasion rate, she gets 40%. That's it. CM won't complain for buffs, Yummy, because she's not a Chinese ship. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. They did for Drake. That's because Drake is cool and hot and awesome. Napoli is mid. Yeah, I said it. Um, I think this is a good skill. I think she's going to be a really high damaging CA. Um, I don't know if she's going to surpass... Um, um, the hell is her name? I don't know if she's going to pass uh, Hindenburg. In terms of damage, I doubt it. Um, yeah, I don't think she's gonna pass up Hindenburg in terms of damage, but uh, I think she'll be. I think she'll definitely be up there for sure. Oh, she has a second skill. Oh, that's all assault. Oh, I didn't even look at all at assaults. I forgot about that. So it's torpedo barrage every ten seconds. The ship's secondary gun is fired. Okay. Does she have one? She has one. Regular. Okay. Hit it, but no clue on her ghost gun yet. Yeah, that's true. That's like I said, it'll it'll depend on it'll depend on her ghost gun. Um. All right, let's put let's jump into the simulation. Let's see what this is like. Well, her um, her chibi model is freaking massive. She probably has one of the biggest front line. Uh, Ones. Is that her ghost gun? Is the purple one her ghost gun? I think it's fucking firing constantly. Yo, converging torpedo bomb. Okay. It's sap. That thing is firing so... every second. I feel like that's pretty good. Sap or not, I feel like that's pretty damn good. Did it just hit two targets? Yeah, Sap penetrates. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be pretty good. She'd be pretty good in like a mob situation or even at a boss for clearing things in front of the boss. I don't think she's broken. I think she's good. I don't think she's broken. I think she's going to be good. But like that's just like off the top looking at it, right? I think I think she's going to be pretty good. That gun firing every 1 second though, just like da 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 da. Man, if only if only there was another ship that had a good secondary gun that fired constantly. Man, that's that's crazy. Man, I wish I wish they would make another character that had a secondary gun that fired more often and did more damage. Man, it would be really good if they just, like, you know, made this character better. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, she had main gun plus one. Does she? Does she get main gun plus one? I have no idea. I have no idea. I can't see right now. Alright, let's look at her design. Her design is... Drake overrated? What do you mean? Drake is so underrated. What are you fucking talking about? Get out of here, Fluffs. Um, she doesn't have main gun mount plus one. She fires it once only. Oh, that's 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 unfortunate. Gitter, your lens is dirty again? No, it's not. I literally keep cleaning it. I've cleaned it like three times now. It's not. It's not changing anything. Um... better and it's not better it's literally the same and it's literally the same <laughs> i have cleaned it like three times before you showed up i had already wiped it like two or three times it's the exact same as it was it's not any different um she has sgm plus one though cl fires twice at freaking 70 percent and 100 percent went in her smoke well yeah i don't know all right design wise um 
I'm I'm think it's mid. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the the design. I I like right here. Like if you look real close, unfortunately these lines, the lines for her arm and stuff like that are kind of weird. Are kind of weird because it makes her just it it makes her boob look like it goes up to here, right? Because of the way these lines are, it makes her like it just makes her boob look like it goes up to her shoulder. Right? Yeah, she looks like she's snapping her neck. Like it's just not I'm not a fan of this like look at this look at this look at this bend here. Look at this bend. Like it's just not not a fan. The hair is ridiculous. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. All right, moving on. Next, Admiral Nakamob. I don't know how else I'm supposed to say it. And of course, now my camera is blurry. Look what you did, Nana. It's your fault. Now it's just super blurry. What the fuck? It's Akashi's older sister, yes. Um, increases this ship's aviation and accuracy by 15% and crit rate by 20%. This ship is busted already. Immediately busted. Imme crit buff. A crit buff. A crit buff. Get out of here. High humidity in the room and cooler camera, probably. It's, it's, pretty, I have, it's pretty humid in here. Um, when this ship launches an airstrike, launches an additional level 10 special airstrike, uh, 1.5 seconds after the spec activates, inflicts the crash debuff on all enemies on the battlefield, decreasing their speed by 60% for five seconds. What? That's fucking nuts. Are you kidding me? What? What? What is this? Destruction connection peak load crash. No, sh this this skill is peak. This skill is giga peak. Twenty percent crit rate and a sixty percent speed debuff. Get out of here. Get where? Where is this on my eagle ship? Where is this on my Enterprise? This I swear to God, if Enterprise ever gets a fucking like retrofit, this skill like I just give it. I I, I just don't understand. God damn. Yeah, not even a percent proc. It's literally just a speed debuff. Crit, double airstrike, and a 60% slow for 5 seconds. This is insane. Just, wow. Okay, moving on. Next skill. Second skill. Here we go. When this ship launches... Wait, she has three skills. Okay. When the ship launches an airstrike, targets a random uh, enemy, and decreases that enemy's anti-air and evasion by 5% for 6 seconds, and increases their damage taken by 5%. Enemies with a speed decreasing debuff, inflicted by a northern parliament ship skill, in your fleet gain the enfeebled debuff. When an enemy with the enfeebled debuff is inflicted with the crashed status, their speed is set to zero. Zero for five for 2.5 seconds increase the ship's crit damage against enemies with enfeebled debuff by 40 percent it's not even but it's not faction restricted yummy because she can self proc this she self procs this she procs this herself it's not even Oh, another, okay, another, nor, another Northern Parliament ship. My bad. Okay, another Northern Parliament ship. Okay, but here's the thing. Here, but here, here's the thing though. Just use, just use the, the other really busted UR battleship for, for Northern Parliament or use, or I know, I know that's going to be crazy. It's going to be absolutely insane. Does this work? Hold on a second. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. Will this work? Will this work? 
Her cross fleet barrage, right? Doesn't it slow? Yeah, doesn't her cross fleet barrage, so her cross fleet barrage slows, right? So it's not, it's not locked. This is a Kronstadt buff. You put Kronstadt in your mob fleet, you stick Nakamob in your boss fleet, and Nakamob will always proc her effect because Kronstadt. <laughs> More or less. Not every time, obviously, because it's, you know, it's, you know. Oh, God, that's hilarious. And then you just use, you know... Fucking, you use Fats, uh, Soyuz. Yeah, it's not even a restriction anyway. Use Soyuz in the as the bat as the battle as the flagship. You use Nakamov, and then you run something else in there as well for extra giga damage. Like I don't run Enterprise. She's white haired. She'll fit in. That's that's stupid. This character is broken. Unfortunately, it also said it probably doesn't work actually because by another Northern Palmer ship skill in your fleet, right? So that may not actually work. The uh, because of that part of the line that may not actually work. So you will have to use um, um, so, uh, so I use. Damn, Northern Parliament. It may not work. We'll have to do some testing. It might work. I don't know. We'll have to do some testing. That would be really cool if it worked that way, though. All right, let's get to the third skill. How, how much how much worse can this get? How much better can this get? Increase her ships, uh, her AA and evasion by 15%. 25 seconds after the battle starts for 5 seconds. Increase this ship's detection gauge recovery speed by 2. Rage speed falls below 40%. Rules damage taken. Sets the ship's detection gauge to zero. Any burst damage this, takes, this, uh, this ship takes for the next eight seconds is set to zero. This effect does not extinguish an active burn. This ship is broken. This skill is so... <laughs> this... This ship is so busted. Oh. Now I know what oh, ah, contact. Ah. Now I know what it like what it feels like to be a, a World of Warships player when they release a new Russian ship and the Russian bias sets in. This is this has World of Warships Russian bias all over it. We're just I'm just going to throw that out there. Face down ass up just like her enemies do when she's done with them, yeah. We're ready to take engage, no problem. Yeah. It's over. It's over. Mylon's at its finest. Stellinium is the greatest metal in the world. Yep, exactly. This ship is made of straight stellinium. And then Siren Killer. All right, let's uh, let's go into the simulation. Is this how people felt when Hakuryu was announced, bro? When Hakuryu was announced, everybody was like, "Oh, she's really strong. She's really she's really really strong. Really good. Really overpowered. Cool." I don't. I I don't. No, nah, this is very similar feeling. Yeah, let's go with the very let's go with very similar feeling. I I feel more feelings about this than I did Hakuryu though. Oh my god, those those are all rockets. Okay. Now, I never used the word weak. Twenty percent crit buff. Jesus Christ. Uh, 
Okay. I like her voice. Yeah, no, I like her voice. I agree. All right, design. I mean, she's a green-haired, golden-eyed cat girl in a cat suit. Is it me or does she reload her airstrikes really fast? She did reload her airstrikes really fast. Yeah. 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 She kind of reminds me of C2 from, uh, what do I call it? The simulation thing? Oh, okay. Cool. I mean, honestly, I think it's the best design of, like, visually, I think it's the best design of this Priority 7, but it's still not, like, oh my god, it's so good. This character is, oh, Oh my god, right? So. Ever seen what her front side looks like? I'm actually salt on her angle they gave her. It is what it is. Nope, we'll get a better angle eventually. It's all good. Alright, next. Bayard. French CL. Dauntless, the Dauntless example. Wait, she is. So this, this is the DR, and this is the DR, and this is another SR. Okay. Decrease this ship's torpedo damage taken by 15% every 10 seconds. This ship gains the exemplary knight status for 5 seconds. Increase this ship's speed by 20%. That's pretty good. Evasion by 20%. And evasion rate by 15%. That's pretty good. Fires a level 10 special barrage. This is a pretty good this is a pretty good skill, actually. This is just this is just straight a good skill. Just straight a good skill. So every five seconds, basically for five every five every ten seconds for five seconds, she has uh pretty big buffs. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Another CL. Kind of an oversaturated uh zone though. Increase blade of iris aspirations. Increase this ship's firepower and reload by 15%. The lower the ship's current HP is, the more damage she deals. Up to 15% more damage. Once per battle when the ship's HP falls below 50%, a result of the damage taken. For 5 seconds, the ship evades all attacks. When effect activates, decrease the accuracy of all enemies present on the battlefield by 15% until the battle ends. It's not really a zombie skill. Because it's at fifty percent, isn't yeah? That's not a zombie skill, and it's not, and it's only five seconds, and this is kind of bad. This is kind of really, it's kind of bad. No, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Um, all out assaults. Oh, that's just siren. Uh, all out assaults, twelve times. Okay. And it doesn't heal. Yeah. Um. Simulation. Bear design is a so bad copy of the copy of the copy. Yeah, I'll get to that in a moment. Hey, I like her chibi though. She's like sailing on like a thing. That's kind of cool. She's got like a surfboard kind of thing. That's kind of. I don't know. Why I like that. She's got like a battle plat. Oh, was that the? Whoa! No, I kind of like this barrage. Very mob. Kind of a pog, kind of a pog barrage though. I'll give her that. Um, yeah, okay. Her skills are kind of meh. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fast. Yeah, sail me closer, commander. I want to hit them with my sword. Yeah. Yeah, she's got she got a lot, a lot of barrage. Hmm. That's a brush. Um. Okay. Cool. Uh. Design wise, terrible. Absolutely terrible. I think it's the it's the worst. I after going through all these, it's definitely the worst of the designs. It's so it's so it's breast all over again. It's so generic. It's so basic. Like zero. Yeah. Zero out of zero. I love French ships. Where is the French design in this ship? I think she's on like a. We can't really see it right now. 
But her design is just so boring. So boring. Armpits, get out of here, please. Go away. This is just super yeah, average. Average, average, mid. Super mid. So, in conclusion, let's go ahead and conclude this real quick, and then we can move on. Halford, pretty good skills. Pretty good skills. Probably going to be a really decent destroyer to pair up with, like, Laffy and the other Eagle Union destroyers in the Eagle Union fleet. Clearly a design inspired by vampires, Shaltier, Bloodfallen, things along those lines. I actually like her design a lot. I like her skills. I think she looks pretty cool. Uh, Dyson, her skills are kind of not great, I feel. But in actual battle, her torpedo barrage from her barrage from her first skill actually seems pretty damn good and very accurate. Very accurate. So that's something to consider as well. Um, I'll check it in a minute, choice. Um, that just, that's, that's, like, I'll give her that. She has a pretty accurate barrage, it seems. But her design is mid. Just mid. Um, Napoli, obviously a really strong DR heavy cruiser. It remains to be seen whether or not she will do more damage than Hindenburg, or at least as much damage as Hindenburg. She might just be a different, it might be like a side grade situation, which I'd be fine with. Um, depending on, like, the fight you're in, right? Uh, her secondary gun fires really fast. Every one second seems really, really strong. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Her design is terrible, though, honestly. Not as bad as Bayard's, but pretty freaking bad. Um, Admiral Nakamov, absolutely goaded, busted ship. Just completely disgusting. It's Hakuryu 2.0. This is absolutely insane. Like, this ship is... This, this ship is... This, get it off my screen. It's gross. Gross, gross, gross. Um, design... Probably the best of them, but like if if Bayard is a zero out of zero, and 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 Dyson is like a one out of one out of five, and Napoli is like maybe like a two out of five, and Halford is also probably like a two out of five. She's still only a three out of five. Like none of these ships are getting a five out of five design for me. Like they're not. They're very very average. Um, but she is super really strong. Um. Bayard, her skills seem ass. Her barrage seems okay. Her design is mid. Zero out of zero. Would not again. Um, so I'm going to start with the really busted one. We're going to start with the really busted one. How's that? We'll start with the really busted one. Yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. My my reflections on the PR7 design. We'll see what happens with the other four. But Admiral Nakamov... She's she's disgusting. She has a crit. She has a flat crit rate buff, a flat crit damage buff, slows forever, a stun, extra debt. Like she is absolutely disgusting, and I can't wait to use her. So uh, tell me what you think in the comments down below uh, about the new PR7. What are you excited for? I'm sure there'll be that one commenter who's like, "Oh, she has a speed debuff. That means she's bad because speed debuffs suck, right?" I know this because I'm an Azure Lane player who has an IQ of two. I don't know what to tell you. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. So uh, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you like this type of content and you want to see more of it, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. And I will see you next time. Later.